very nice for broadcast and it is easy yes it is easy <coughs> doesn't mean that it doesn't produce very special effects kind of thing um, it is very nice easy to learn easy to work in produce very nice results and then maybe if uh, you are not satisfied then you should jump in those applications like XSI or Maya or Max but I think it will never happen you will and you should be satisfied with C4D if um, like you are a novice you should start working and if I think if you are a professional in any application and the things inspire you this thing counts like if visual effects inspire you then obviously you should be a part of that team but if broadcast design motion design or simple design inspires you then I think that C4D is a weapon of choice <coughs> also there are good designers out there like who usually work in one or two applications a vector a roster one and uh, they are very much satisfied for those people I suggest C4D they should uh, not consider 3D as a black magic box it is like for me it is for eight years I wasted my eight years in Maya. Maya is very good. I think that was that wasn't the case with me. People do work in Maya and very professionally, but I don't know why it was so much uh, difficult for me to learn and to do work in that. I I, I tried a lot. I tried a lot. May I think so. <coughs> in 2005, I s tried to switch to Max. Max is um. I, uh, again, very very nice application. Autodesk is um, putting a lot of effort in that, and um, still wasn't satisfied. Motion design inspires me a lot, and in that sense, and if if it's not motion design, if it if you want if you want to be a modeler, just or or light light director or anything uh, animation director, then I think you should you should consider C4D. <coughs> it, it is not only easy but the things like MoGraph and uh, like it, it supports a good very very nice character animation and um, um, it its uh, other modules are very strong so um, this is the difference I think uh, uh, not really a difference this is uh, like you should what inspires you the most uh, even if you want to be a visual director, digital effects director, uh, then keep in mind that it is not a single man job. It requires a lot of effort. Uh, I think so. That in a lot of things, and uh, then you should consider yourself be a part of, uh, like sitting in uh, home. Uh, um, I think it is pretty much difficult. Uh, not impossible. Nothing is impossible. Um, but consider using Cinema 4D because its integration with the um, obvious After Effects um, in broadcast industry and uh, with Photoshop and Illustrator obviously is, is extremely nice and um, you will enjoy a lot like with MoGraph you can experiment and can produce awesome things and um, I think you will definitely enjoy um, and if you're a student in any university in the world I think your first weapon of um, choice must be I think so C4D and afterwards you think no you're not satisfied you you are more into visual effects or character animation with a lot of muscles and motion tracking match moving kind of difficult words then obviously there are these are softwares out there is my and Max expensive ones and exercise but if broadcast inspires you or um, commercials inspires you or just design inspires you colors and lights and um, duplicate things inspires you obviously sound inspires you then straight to C40 <coughs> it will pay you <coughs> a lot not only in learning in projects but also to earn a job because um, it is a very strong market out there for motion designers uh, who can model a bit who can work 
to the sound a bit well I think this is uh, much it um, so thanks for watching oh, this is not a very high quality sound system or video but I try to convey my point maybe it helps maybe it not maybe you're not satisfied um, with my suggestions just my view okay thanks a lot thanks for watching bye